Welcome to Mixing Studies, Distinguishing Deficiency from Inhibitor. We have the following take-home points. Mixing studies help distinguish factor deficiency from inhibitor. If the clotting time corrects completely, there is a factor deficiency. If the clotting time does not correct, there is a factor inhibitor. Mixing studies are used to evaluate prolonged clotting times, including a prolonged activated partial thromboplastin time, prolonged prothrombin time, and a prolonged thrombin time, among others. A mixing study has two important components, the patient plasma and control plasma. The study involves a one-to-one -one mix of the patient plasma with control plasma to determine whether there is a coagulation factor deficiency or inhibitor. When there is a coagulation factor deficiency, the patient's plasma has the prolonged clotting time. The control plasma, with a normal clotting time, has all the factors needed for clotting. In the one-to-one -one mix, the patient contributes deficient plasma, while the control plasma contributes enough factors to overcome the deficiency. Thus, the clotting time corrects completely. When there is a coagulation factor inhibitor, the patient's plasma has a prolonged clotting time due to the presence of an inhibitor, and the control plasma has the normal clotting time. In the one-to-one -one mix, the patient's plasma contributes the inhibitor, but the control plasma is unable to overcome the inhibitor, so the clotting time does not correct. In the case of a weak inhibitor, the patient's plasma has a weak inhibitor and the control plasma is normal. In the one-to-one -one mix, the patient's plasma contributes the weak inhibitor, which is at first overwhelmed by all the factors in the control plasma. So the clotting time initially corrects. However, after some time spent incubating at room temperature, the inhibitor overcomes the factors from the control plasma and the clotting time does not correct. When abnormal patient plasma is added to controlled donor plasma and it corrects completely, there is a coagulation factor deficiency. If it corrects partially, but does not correct at all, there is an inhibitor, which could be due to a coagulation factor inhibitor, the presence of an anticoagulant, a lupus anticoagulant, or fibrin degradation products, which can be seen with disseminated intravascular coagulation. In summary, Mixing studies help distinguish between factor deficiency and inhibitor. If the clotting time corrects completely, there is a factor deficiency. If the clotting time does not correct, there is a factor inhibitor. This ends our video on mixing studies, distinguishing deficiency from inhibitor.